They're able to make the victim look like... If you're not criminal. careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Malcolm X. Even though the Western countries have always claimed themselves as the defenders of human rights and freedom of speech, we witness almost every day the attacks on Muslims being normalized and justified. There is no doubt that since 2001 and the birth of the New World Order, these acts of discrimination have been on the rise. From being denied the opportunity to work, to being refused a can of soda in a flight by the airline crew, or even women having their headscarves ripped off in public, these are just some of the racist behaviors Muslims are facing every day. When Holocaust is the issue, or criticizing Israel is the matter, no one has the right to say anything against them. And if someone does say something, he will be punished, just like what happened for an American university professor. Steven Saleta was refused to be hired by the university just because of his tweets about Israel's crimes against the Palestinians in the Gaza Strip. So what happens when it comes to Muslims and Islam? Why is such racism and bigotry against Muslims accepted when Muslims themselves are targets of genocides and mass killings? The Muslim world is in flames thanks to the US and its Western allies with their financial and weaponry support. Isn't it a part of the U.S. Constitution that any individual has the right to practice his religion? So why have anti-Muslim protesters formed a large demonstration outside a mosque in Arizona? Isn't the right to freedom of religion provided as a law to all the three legal systems in the U.K.? Then why have the people of Dudley and the Midlands protested against plans to build a new mosque in their town? Why are people free to insult Islam and Muslims in most of the European countries? Why is the mainstream media doing its best to spread Islamophobia all over the world? It is a fact that this racism stems from the top down. We have the duty to pressure those at the top, and we have to expect that change will only come from the bottom up. We should rise up and stand against all kinds of racism and change the attitude of the world towards this matter. Fascism and racism have always created disasters and have been always despised in the course of history. So if we continue down the same road, it will definitely lead to catastrophes. It is time to stand up and say no to the new racism, Islamophobia.